Are you using quality tools? No. Was it worth saving pennies when your life depends on it? No. Is it hard to put on pants in the morning? So sometimes. Well, these are signs of a curable disease called tactitis. And the symptoms of tactitis may include drowsiness, irritability, diarrhea, constipation, broken heart, stuffy nose, a sore taint, unable to climb stairs, but there is a cure. Tactical Penguin. Go to tacticalpenguin.com and cure your tactitis. He's mine right now. Well, I kind of want to do a congratulation, a graduatory thing congratulatory. for California. Even though they ruined the gun market again? Well, I or Last time it was magazines. Nobody had magazines anywhere. I wouldn't say ruin. I'm more happy that it's that. No, way. don't get me wrong. I'm happy because I lived there for a good portion of my life. So, okay. So, the fire... I didn't know this, but you know... Um, Adam Crowd, you know who that I know is? who Adam Crowd is. So I didn't. He kept going. Well, he. I guess he's not a part of that anymore. No, he kind of went on his own thing. So Adam Crowd is now one of the leaders or chairman of the Firearms Policy Coalition. Yeah. yeah. So, which is, it's significantly better than the NRA. Honestly, it's one of the best because they actually post what they're doing and they actually care and they actually like when they posted the whole like fuck you no thing. On you on uh, what was it Twitter mm -hmm. when uh, by I don't know even know who it was Biden or somebody said something about guns and he's like no fuck you no yeah I I was like oh okay yes and and you'll never you'll never see that or hear anything remotely close to that come from the NRA or gun control or, 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 or any, any other any, any other organization and that's like the mentality of what it is and I was actually having a conversation about this yesterday because I don't know the right words to articulate the problem and a solution and the what's going to happen. Okay. You have, we can all roll this all together because I'm happy California did this assault weapons ban got, got blown out of the water. It's unconstitutional. 30 years. I, 30 years. I read 11 pages of the, what is it? 94 page opinion piece that the judge brought down. Okay. So California is going to strike their assault weapons ban July 4th. That's the last day, or that's the first day of freedom. Independence Day. Yeah. So it's amazing. I think that's beautiful. Kind of falls that's, in place. It's, it's great. It's just connecting Screams the dots. America. I don't know what that means, as in can they buy gun, ARs, and is there still a waiting period? There's or, probably still going to be a 10-day waiting period. What about all the accessories that they have to have? And is the, well, this I mean, mean that the list goes away? You can buy Gen Five Glocks now. Like what? So that, that was that, that was always the issue when buying any gun in California, specifically for handguns. If it was not on the California Handgun Safety Roster, and that's what it's called, the California Handgun Safety Roster, if it was not on the roster, you could not buy it. I wanted to buy a revolver for my dad as a gift, and I wanted to get one in, in stainless because it was not on the roster. In stainless, you could not buy it. Just just for that. Like literally just for that. Even like uh uh Taurus Raging Bull, the yeah. 44 Mag, you wanted a blued steel. It's not on the roster. You can only get a stainless one. Just so just right. the color alone. Because was it, enough because to... it's incompetence. It's incompetence it, of what it, somebody's doing. Exactly. I mean, even even then, like when it all started the whole assault weapons ban, it's just you got people like Feinstein who just needs to go away forever. She's she's been in politics longer than I've been alive. Same goes for Pelosi. So at this point, they no longer need to be in government at all because they can't relate to you. Me. Their constituency. Exactly. Well, there's that, but it's... Well, that's the people. They can't relate to the, their constituency. Yeah. The people that they are there for yeah. is their constituency. Yeah, and, and, and they can't relate to it because probably the demographic of the people that are in there... Their, it has changed. Their, it's it has changed. changed. So when you got people like that, they're like, okay, well... What kind of guns can people buy? I was like, well, here's a catalog. Okay, that's banned. And that's actually how it went down. Was like, that's banned, that's banned, that's banned. That's got a full stock. That has to be banned. 
I, wow. I don't know. I, I, with all that's going on right now, it's just a big mess because California's assault weapons ban is now struck down and we have a really huge Supreme Court case there. We have another Supreme Court case that's going on right now about kids sealed carry across America type deal. And then we have this David Chipman thing and I'm kind of wishy-washy on that because it's like, I don't want to say the Waco kid. I think it's hilarious, and I think the memes are funny. But like the reality, but the reality of it is, is like I don't I, being ignorant to that to that that meme that Reddit meme culture. Mm -hmm. We need to like get it, like ha, huh? and then all right, we need to stop it. Now we got to go to business. Yeah. Okay. And time, this, time and a place for it. Right. And this guy who was asked to define assault weapon actually defined assault weapon five seconds before and now cannot remember what he said mm -hmm. or did not want to because he thought it was going to be incriminating where he actually just defined it less than a minute or two minutes before he was asked again mm -hmm. and he couldn't do it. So somebody who's incompetent, who actually has ill will towards the demographic of who he's going to be policing. Yeah. It's 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 conflict. Well, then again, it goes it goes back to like, granted, before I get into that, the assault weapon ban in California is struck down. Yes. That doesn't really necessarily, it might not pertain to the handgun issue, the handgun safety rod. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's a different story in itself. Right. You know? But when you got a guy who says things like that and then doesn't remember. Yeah. You know, now it's just, like, well, well, no, no, I said that like a week ago and now this is the new rule. You can't have pistol braces because you, you're going to use it as a stock. And we can keep pushing this into the, this is, we've dealt with government. Okay. We've both been a part of government working for the government. They paid a guy to make a spreadsheet on how to count points if your AR pistol is illegal or not. And then in the same document says it doesn't matter how many points if it if it if the person who's looking at it thinks it is, then they can just say it's a it's a SBR well, or illegal. So they spent millions of dollars, at least hundreds of thousands of dollars on a person or a team of persons, it being a government agency for the federal government. I assume it's probably a team of people who developed this spreadsheet to collect points so it can look good on somebody's resume or appraisal or whatever. But yet, the whole point of being this person is to defend the Constitution from foreign and domestic, yet nobody is pointing that out. Nobody's pointing this out at all. It's, we're going to collect points, and your AR race is is illegal. Well, it's, no, even, even if it weighs more than, what was it, like 120 ounces or something yeah. like that? Something, so seven pounds. If it weighs more than seven pounds. But okay. that doesn't make any difference because, yeah. like, what, where and anywhere in the NFA has defined poundage of pounds, uh, accessories, nothing. Not There's no, and that's, like, the thing is, is the definitive item itself. We make a law, and then we have a group associated to that law to police that law. You also have people that. And they're make, not doing that. You, you have people that are in power that give responsibility to the people. They're just like, hey, I, I did this thing. I fixed it. I fix what you want me to fix. Well, what'd you do? Oh, I, I just pretty much said they can't have this vertical grip on this. Yeah. The, I, they can't have a pistol brace on that. Is that it? You had like three weeks to work on it? Yeah. That's all you came up with. All right. Well, we're wrong with it. it I, I just think of the whole thing. This whole like ATF. The whole point of all these things. The beginning point was just taxes. It was just taxes. It was part that's, of the that's all it was. It was started. It started off as a, as a an organization to get money. Tax. Yeah, for the, the IRS. Tax. It was direct descendant of the IRS. When we send our tax stamps in, those tax stamps go to one place and then they get forwarded from there to the IRS. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go to the ATF. It doesn't go to another. You know. Uh, uh, a non-profit for people who are killed by guns. No, it goes to the IRS because it's actually revenue. Mm -hmm. It's revenue money yeah. that they're making. And in and, and just the the whole thing of it is it should, if it was about safety, then it would be a direct thing. This isn't safe, then we do this. And it's never been about safety. Yeah. And that's why it's like, well, no, even then, like the ATF, all these rules are just bullshit. Even then the ATF has had a very very bloodstained history you know and 
which this kind of seg segues us into this next thing is you're making law abiding citizens criminals overnight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want them to follow all these laws. Well, law number 10 is a new one. No braces or file da 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 or whatever Biden's plan is, is everything is on the NFA registry. But it also has to go to Congress. But, but the problem is, is if you just add another law that makes people who are law abiding, who follow the rules, and then they don't know, like we, you know, we're associated with a firearms gun shop. Most of the people come in to have no clue what the braces are or what well, is anybody legal. new anybody new to this one not even new like there was a couple of people today that came in and they had very little understanding of you know 26 overall inches or braces or even the 13 and a quarter inch from the trigger like the yeah it's like there's a lot of these little things that the atf considers and deems are very important and they're going to make you have a felony record and ten thousand dollar fine and ten years in jail and all these things, but yet none of it really. It's not that. It's more just. I don't. I can't. I don't even get the point of it. You know There's what no I mean? Point. It's it's, just, it's basically you know the government bingo scorecard. It's about a bingo card. It's because it's just like okay, check which ones you got. What what you're now a felon. You're a winner. Well, like. I'm seeing as this is going to cause more problems and you're going to have a lot more innocent people that are going to go to jail and get yeah. in trouble for no no reason. And it's already unconstitutional. Not only is it unconstitutional, but it's a law that can't be enforced. And it you're you're making a law that can't be enforced that's already unconstitutional. What you're doing is you're setting your department up for failure. Mm. You're going to get sued in such a way that is going to just – it might take 10 years to get sued because they're going to blockade the the judicial system. Like they have more. But I think it's going to be such – I mean with what the Firearms Policy Coalition is doing right now, if I was the ATF, I would be fucking scared. Yeah, because they actually – I would be fucking scared because the policy – policy – Fire and Policy Coalition. Yeah, the Fire and Policy Coalition is so stacked. The people are watching them. And people notice that they're actually doing work. Mm -hmm. And they're coming for you. Oh, yeah. So if you got something that's going on, they're probably going to put a private investigator on you. They're going to find some dirty secrets that you have. And they're going to do this thing the right way and get... Whoever is in charge of the ATF or whatever. And that's why I you, support the Fire and Policy Coalition more than I would ever support the ATF. And that's like the thing is, is like I keep seeing the stuff that they're doing and I'm like, okay, this is – they have funnier shirts, funnier merch that they got. They're funny on Instagram. They're they're keeping me notified on emails. They're keeping me notified on what's going on. It was real easy to find the 94-page the page. Um, opinion letter. Well, even even the guy who does the the videos for the Facebook, page, yeah, Craig Luz. Yeah, that dude's just like an right awesome guy. He's, yeah, he'll break it down. Like so, this he is what did it a means. video on Instagram. Yeah, that dude's awesome. You will never see that from the NRA. Yeah, you you know you won't see Wayne Wayne Lapierre. You won't see anybody. Well, else. unless it's you know a crowded room, he can act like Trump. Well, that and that's that or if there's any way that he's going to get. Extra money coming his way, yeah, you know, because that that's all the NRA is now. They just they'll it's get just the money. It's just the money grab. It's a money pit. It's just that's... you got people that are that are you know they're older than us, twenty thirty years older than us. Like oh, I support the NRA. Why? When have they done anything good? Yeah, you know. I mean, they've written all of the gun control bills since every single one. Since nineteen sixty eight, they've written every single one of them. Yeah, so they're they're almost as bad at this point. They're almost as bad. As the ATF, they, in, in, my, in my opinion, they, they're the one and the same. In my opinion, yeah, they don't help us. They're not. And every time something, it's like, hey, let's look at the evidence now. They, they, no, they, they don't care. They're, they're, they're and the NRA. I bought something from um, uh, Palmetto State Armory, and mm -hmm. on their little on the checkout thing, mm -hmm. it says donate to, and then how much. And it had the NRA. And I was like, man, I wish they had the firearms policy colon shit up there. I would donate money. That quick second, I could have donated a hundred or fifty dollars or whatever to them directly from the bill that I did. And I was like, man, I wish they had that. Cause I would have done it. And it was the NRA I kind of chuckled. And then I realized how many people 
actually donate. stop are going to click that button, donate 50 bucks, and, you know, sorry, honey, the, you know, upper receiver that was $50 more, you know, than what I thought it was or whatever. I think that these gun companies could do something and help our cause by adding something like that to check out. Yeah, adding the Fire Policy Coalition to, yeah. to a donation. And if we can, I mean, it would, it would be good. It would be good. You know, I've seen more things that they've done in the last six months than the NRA has done in 90 years. Yeah. Like, that's a huge footprint. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I mean, the NRA is garbage. Nonsense. They, they, they care about money. They don't care about rights. Plain and simple. Painfully obvious. That, you know, if you haven't figured that out, then yeah, I got just, issues. But the one point that I want to make is this, is if you outlaw things that are honest, then you're just going to create criminals. And those criminals are going to be like, well, if I'm already a criminal, I guess I'm going to go all the way. Yeah. So go you're going to go home. Yeah. And I think that's a dangerous slope. Talking to a lot of gun guys, I think that's a very dangerous thing is you are going to create criminals, but you're going to create really bad criminals. You're going to perfect, you're going to make professional criminals. Mm -hmm. And if you're telling me that I'm breaking the law, that, oh, you're circumventing the law, you're making illegal SBRs. Well, number one, an SBR has never hurt anybody. Okay. There's never been a crime where it's like, oh, he hurt somebody because it was an SBR. That's never been the deciding factor. OK, just because it's shorter does not mean it's easier, because anyways, um, anyways, one of the main firearms that actually hurts people are pistols and they're not going after pistols. They're going after pistol, well, pistol, fire, AR like yeah. weapons. The problem is, is most of those weapons aren't even they're not even in the top fist. What is it? Hands, fists, and feet, and knives. Hammers. Hammers are killing more people than fucking guns, ARs. And, and obesity is above that. Yeah, it's insane. It's just one of those things where it's like, we're not playing by the numbers. We're playing this this feelings game. It's nonsense. But if you want to keep pushing this, you're going to make some really bad enemies that aren't going to kill, that aren't going to care who they kill. Well, that's like when someone goes to jail for something small. And then they come back, or they get they get released. And they they're doing now they're hooked on heroin because there was heroin inside the jail. Well, that I guess I mean. And now they're, they're breaking they're... in cars. But first, it was just a lollipop. Now they're breaking in cars. Well, first, they still... could have been, could have been a joint. Now it's just like okay, now we're gonna go break into the you know yeah. this I'm place. Hooked on meth because in the prison I was in. One thing I get asked the most, usually about Cerakote, is is Cerakote worth it? Yes, absolutely. Why? It's beneficial in the way it provides and enhances physical components, such as improving the wear and tear over time. It provides, it also provides abrasion, corrosion, and chemical resistance on your gear. It will improve the longevity of your equipment. So go ahead and check out tacticalpenguin.com, Utah's premier Cerakote, certified Cerakote applicator. And if you're local, come by the shop. We're located at 860 West Riverdale Road, Suite D7, Riverdale, Utah.